we will discuss about sickle cell anemia and its diagnosis so a quick revision this case study presents an in-depth look at sickle cell anemia a genetic blood disorder characterized by production of abnormal hemoglobin leading to the distortion of red blood cells into sickle shape by exploring the diagnosis treatment and management of patient with sickle cell anemia we aim to highlight the critical aspects of care and challenging phases into uh, challenges faced by individuals living with this condition so a quick uh, overview so sickle cell anemia means in this the red blood cell will be in sickle shape because of some mutation in the chromosome 11 a single uh, point mutation in the chromosome 11 leads to the abnormality in the hemoglobin so hemoglobin has two types of uh, uh, peptides they have alpha chains and beta chains there is a problem with the beta chain of uh, this hemoglobin leading into conversion of a sickle shape of the red blood cell and uh, this is an autosomal recessive uh, disease that means this uh, uh, an individual must have two defective genes to get the disease okay both males and females are equally affected by this condition so in this the patient will uh, the sickle shaped RBCs will block the red blood, uh, blood vessels leading to uh, infections anemia pre um, hemolysis can be happen and they are also susceptible to infections and also severe pain crisis can be seen in the patient they will have severe pains in the joints and uh, spleno splenic puncture can happen the spleen can rupture because of this uh, sickle cells and there might be some ocular uh, uh, defects can happen they will have vision problems they will have respiratory issues all these things are combined in this sickle cell anemia and today we will see how the sickle cell anemia will be detected in a lab so what viewers will learn upon uh, going through this series is uh, the genetic basis of physiology of sickle cell anemia viewers will understand the importance of early diagnosis and role of uh, newborn screening viewers will understand the comprehensive management strategies for sickle cell anemia focusing on both acute complications and long term care and viewers will able to impact sickle cell anemia on patients quality of life and the importance of holistic care to manage the sickle cell anemia patients coming to the patient background so the patient is 16 year old male the initial presentations include the patient presented with a severe pain in his arms and legs known as a vaso oculasio crisis and reported a history of frequent infections and delayed growth and relevant medical history shows that diagnosed with uh, sickle cell anemia during newborn screening past medical history includes multiple hospitalizations for pain crisis and a splenic sequestration at the age of 6 has been seen so the symptoms and descriptions of the patient is episodes of acute pain in joints and bones and fatigue and jaundice physical examination findings include pallor jaundice and signs of an enlarged liver has been observed so the diagnostic approach the cbc cbc is the essential for identifying anemia a hallmark for sickle cell anemia by showing low hemoglobin levels also provides information on white blood cell count which may be elevated due to chronic inflammation and platelet count and peripheral uh, blood uh, smear has been uh, uh, suggested it offers a visual confirmation of presence of sickle shaped cells and other abnormal red blood cells in the uh, with hemolysis in the patient the specific tests ordered include uh, hemoglobin electrophoresis this is the gold standard technique for uh, sickle cell anemia this test uh, differentiates between normal hemoglobin and sickle cell hemoglobin and other variants a patient with sickle cell anemia typically shows a high proportion of uh, sickle cell hbs and little or no hba can be seen so in case of sickle cell anemia hbs will be seen in the patients Reticulocytes will be elevated in sickle cell anemia patients due to increased red blood cell production as a compensatory response to hemolysis and solubility test it is a rapid screening test for indicating the presence of sickle cell uh, hemoglobin by sickling of uh, red blood cells in a deoxygenated environment positive results require confirmation by hemoglobin electrophoresis rational for a diagnostic test the CBC and peripheral blood smear are initial blood assessments that can indicate anemia and presence of sickle cells and a hemoglobin electrophoresis it will provide a definitive identification of type of hemoglobin that is present in the patient reticulocyte count will help to assess the bone marrow's response to anemia 
and solubility test offers a quick initial screening for sickle cell anemia. So lab test and reinterpretation. So the presentation of CBC showing anemia and hemoglobin electrophoresis confirms that a hemoglobin S HBS has been present in the patient and there is an elevated platelet count indicating there is an increased red blood cell production due to ongoing uh, blood lysis in the body. An interpretation, the combination of lab findings, particularly the presence of HBS on electrophoresis, confirms the diagnosis of sickle cell anemia. Other differential diagnosis that we will do include to check the sickle cell trait, whether the parents are carrier or not. So a carrier patient might have a sickle cell trait and they are prone to mild conditions of sickle cell anemia and that need to be uh, considered. And final diagnosis, the diagnosis of sickle cell anemia was confirmed based on clinical presentation and collaborated by other laboratory findings including hemoglobin electrophoresis. Treatment and management, hydroxyurea, reduced frequency of uh, pain crisis, prophylactic antibiotics to prevent infections and pain management during crisis and regular vaccination should be given to the patient. And outcome with consistent treatment, the patient experienced fewer vasculoclesive crisis and improved general health. Regular follow-ups are essential for monitoring and adjusting treatment. Outcome, the case underscores the vital role of healthcare providers including medical lab technologies in diagnosing, monitoring and managing sickle cell anemia. Highlighting the importance of interdisciplinary care teams in providing holistic care to the individuals with sickle cell anemia. Thank you so much.